The 21st century has been a pretty amazing era for action cinema, which means moviegoers have been treated some pretty fantastic fight scenes. And with so many crazy melees to choose from, it's time to pick your weapon and stand your ground as we look at the most epic movie fights of the 21st century. Before we start our list, we post new contents daily, make sure to subscribe our channel. Kill Bill Volume 2 The Bride vs L Driver We're scaling things down a bit and looking at the trailer brawl from Volume 2. Quentin Tarantino knew he couldn't match the sheer size of the House of Blue Leaves fight, so he decided to match it in terms of emotion. The Bride and L Driver have been heading for showdown pretty much since scene 1, so when they finally duke it out in Bud's mobile home, things get real crazy real fast. These ladies put Jason Bourne to shame, using every item in sight as a weapon. We've got a lamp, a guitar, and a TV antenna. The Bride even tries to drown her opponent in a toilet. Of course, when she's not swinging her sword like a madwoman. Driver is throwing haymakers that would put John Wayne to shame. As Daryl Hannah described it, this is just a barroom brawl gone wrong, and Tarantino drew inspiration for his white trash throwdown from the movie Jackass. Talking to IGN, the director explained the fight was always supposed to be rough and tumble, but after watching the Johnny Knoxville movie, he was inspired to make the trailer fight as gross as possible, complete with blood, grime and tobacco juice. Inception, the hallway dream fight. When it comes to slugfests, they don't get any trippier than the dream fight in Inception. This Christopher Nolan film features Joseph Gordon-Levitt duking it out with Killian Murphy's subconscious while trying to navigate a hallway that won't stop spinning. As the ground becomes the wall, and the wall becomes the ground, JGL is jumping over sconces, dodging doorways, and throwing quite a few fists. It's one of the most impressive scenes in Christopher Nolan's blockbusting filmography, and it was achieved thanks to a 100-foot-long set hook to eight giant rings. Naturally, maneuvering down the hallway was pretty tricky, and Gordon Levitt spent two weeks of prep time to get the moves right. According to Cinefix, the actor would imagine Bach music in order to time his steps and hit his marks. The Avengers, The Battle of New York The Avengers was a game-changer for modern-day blockbusters. It kickstarted the concept of cinematic universes, and it proved that superhero movies were here to stay. Plus, it was the culmination of four years' worth of build-up, finally uniting the world's mightiest heroes in a battle against alien invaders. But while Loki has an army, the Avengers have a halt. They've also got a demigod, a super soldier, a couple of master assassins, and a genius, billionaire, playboy philanthropist. Soon, arrows are flying everywhere, Captain America is bashing bad guys with his shield, puny gods are getting turned into rag dolls, and in between all the action, we're treated to a hero shot for the ages. Of course the real heroes here are the CGI artists. Since it's hard to set off explosions in New York or fly down the street for a helicopter shot, almost the entire Battle of New York was created on computers. While the actors mostly performed in front of a New Mexico green screen, the wizards at Industrial Light and Magic shot approximately 7 miles of New York and captured shots from 35 rooftops. They then used these images to create 20 blocks of battlefield, pretty much everything you see, the buildings, the cars, the fire hydrants, is all digital. John Wick, Nightclub Gun Fu John Wick is one amazing action spectacle after another. There's the scene where Wick slaughters a gang of home invaders. There's the moment when he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the deadly Miss Perkins. And most impressive, there's the sequence where Wick takes out an army of bodyguards in a bloody nightclub shootout. Hunting a Russian mobster who foolishly killed his dog, Wick shows up at the Red Circle, hoping for a little revenge. As he pursues his prey through the club, our taciturn assassin is assaulted on all sides by gangsters, but they're no match for John Wick's gun fu. There's not a movement wasted as Baba Yaga flips bad guys and fires bullets in a ballet of violence that would make John Wu envious. The scene comes off flawlessly thanks to Reeves' dedication to his craft. The actor spent four months training, five days a week, eight hours a day, in judo and jujitsu. And when he wasn't working on his combat skills, he was practicing with firearms. That hard work totally paid off, allowing directors Chad Stahelski and David Leitch to film in long, uninterrupted takes because their star was a martial arts pro. Spectre, Bond vs. Mr. Hanks Sure, the movie wasn't as good as Skyfall and Casino Royale, but the brawl between Craig Bond and Mr. Hanks just might steal the top spot from Connery Bond and Red Grant. The fight takes place on a train traveling through Morocco, and all Bond wants to do is spend an evening with his latest lady love. Unfortunately, the fine dining is interrupted when all 289 pounds of Dave Bautista shows up, ready to rumble. What follows is nearly three minutes of absolute savagery, a fight so intense that both stars suffered nasty injuries. Craig was the first to go down after suffering a knee injury. The Brit had to take two weeks off from filming in order to get surgery, but just a few days after the accident, he was back and ready for business. And when Craig returned, he got a little revenge on Bautista. 
As the wrestler turned actor told Entertainment Weekly, there's one part where Daniel lands a punch, and you just heard it. My nose just spattered blood. Captain America Civil War, The Airport Battle When it comes to fight scenes, the Captain America movies have some of the best in the MCU. But if we had to pick just one Captain America fight, we'd go with the epic airport battle featuring pretty much every hero in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Seriously this is the mother of all superhero fights. Can't wait to see Spider-Man swing circles around a giant-sized Ant-Man. This fight has all that and more, making it feel like it's been ripped straight from the pages of a comic book. The scene wasn't as much fun for the actors and stunt people involved. It took 30 days to film this baby, 3 at the actual airport in Germany and 27 in Atlanta, where the costumed actors and their doubles had to deal with 100 degree weather. According to Yahoo, this was particularly tough on the guys playing Black Panther and Ant-Man, so we have to doff our hats to these guys who put up with the Southern Sun to make Marvel movie history. Logan, The Forest Fight Unlike almost every other Marvel film, Logan is a movie with actual gore. Sure, we've seen Wolverine stab people plenty of times, but we've never seen the geysers of blood before. It brings a whole new level of realism to superhero fight scenes, and it gets even grislier thanks to Laura, an adorable little monster skilled at beheading bad guys. The duo proves especially effective when they finally face off against the Reavers, evil goons trying to murder mutant children, and their final showdown in the woods pits modern-day weapons against animal instinct. Plus, remember Laura's foot claw? Well, that was a real blade inserted into her shoe, and having a real-life foot claw means that Daphne Keen is the coolest kid to ever play in a superhero movie. Mad Max Fury Road, Max Rokotensky vs. Imperator Furiosa Mad Max Fury Road could have crashed like Escape from LA, Tron Legacy, Blade Runner 2049 and other sequels to cult hits from decades past. Instead, it cruised to $154 million domestic, $375 million worldwide, 10 Oscar nominations, and 6 wins. Not bad for a movie that was nearly shut down by the studio. And the reason for its success is simple, it's friggin' awesome, but while its greatness was simple, it wasn't easy. For one thing, the months-long shoot put Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron nearly at each other's throats, aggression they put to good use. Picking just one fight in a two-hour car chase may seem like picking a pebble from the rock pile, but Mad Max and Furiosa's battle has the raw intensity and creative choreography to make it special. While Furiosa defends Immortan Joe's escaped brides, Max fights for his own freedom, with his face imprisoned behind a metallic mask while he's still handcuffed to Nicholas Holt's unconscious war boy, who was draining him for his blood. It's a lot. Thanks for watching, if you like this video make sure to smash the like button. For more content subscribe to our channel.